Holy crap. I can see everything. Let's put this in the water, see what we can find. This is so crazy, holy crap. too windy to be fishing on bridges today. We're here at the Keys, but no bridge fishing. We're only going to be doing canal fishing today. The ocean is over there. We're just right inside of the ocean where all the trees and the buildings are blocking all the wind, but I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of fish here. And we've got some pretty special equipment, some really high technology stuff to spy on the fish today. Let's get out on the boat, see what we can do. really special package from a company called Power Vision. And um, I have not seen technology like this before, but this is some of the highest tech I've ever seen. Take a look at this. Ready? There. Can you guys guess what this is? It's an underwater drone. And with this has a camera, it has lights, it has a fish finder, it has a function where you can drop your baits. So it comes with a power bank, it also comes with VR goggles, <laughs> so I can see what's going on under, but I don't, think I'm need, I don't think I'll need to use that. I can just use my phone, remote control, or I can set my phone up on it. So I'm really excited to use this piece of technology because there's a bunch of mangroves here, there's deep holes here, there's probably a lot of fish here, and what you see at the surface is not what you see below the surface. Once I drop this down, I have a feeling we're gonna see a whole different world of things. You know, they say that space is the final frontier, but we haven't explored so much of our oceans and so much of the under underwater world that, you know, why don't we put more effort into searching in our own planet? and also put some outer space, but it's, it's really important to... Uh, <laughs> they're both cool. <laughs> they're both pretty cool stuff, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the water for now. Okay, it's on, look at this. Whoa, it's moving! It's moving! Okay, cool, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record on here. Great. Whoa! Whoa! That's how you go down, you dive. There she goes. Whoa, I see so many fish. Babe, I see so many fish here. You do? What kind of fish are they? Are they scared by the drone? Okay, I'm seeing nothing right now. Just seeing um, just the ground. 
looking for some fish here. Do you see, what does the mangrove look like underneath the water? Oh, I'm looking towards the mangrove right now. Does it look like roots? Does it look like? Oh, I see fish. A lot of fish. They're all, they're all mangrove snappers just hanging out with these mangroves. They're all just hanging out around these mangroves here. Cool. That's so amazing. So I'm all the way down here now. Holy cow. Wow, there's fish at the bottom here. And now I'm gonna just go explore these mangroves here. Apparently don't see much. Oh, I see them. They're all hiding deep inside these root systems. There's a lot of them. And they're big ones too. Ooh, interesting. So cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into the mangroves again. I might have scared some off. There's a big mangrove right there. You see these? You see these? Oh yes. A lot of big mangroves. Huge ones. So it looks like there's a lot of mangroves, not in the middle. When I'm in the middle, I don't see much. But when they're, when I'm looking around these actual uh, structure, they're all hiding under it. So it's important to cast it close to the trees. So here's my drone coming back up. So you don't see anything in the middle? Um, I'm actually seeing stuff in the middle right now. Oh my gosh, these are big. This is so cool, I love this drone. I'm glad it's clear enough that I can see everything, but there's also a light that's attached to this thing, so it probably illuminates some stuff. I'm in the middle right now, I don't see much. I see a lot of little small fish, but as soon as I get to the mangroves, there seems to be a lot more. Maybe that's why they call them mangrove snappers, because they like to hang out by the mangroves. You know, I think that's a good guess. Now, I've got three speeds on here. I've got high, medium, and low. And high is really fast. I think it's a little too fast to be exploring. So I'm in the medium setting right now. I might even go to the low setting. Oh, you're right here behind us. Oh, I'm gonna check out over here. Yeah, definitely should. This thing is pretty fast. Look at that. What a beautiful swimmer. All right. We've got a lot of intel now. I found out a lot of information just by searching underwater here for this. And this is the, one of the highest piece of technology I've used in a while. Oh wow, this thing is fast too. Lock it up, put the drone away. Now let's go fishing. Okay, so I saw a bunch of mangrove snappers and bigger fish hiding on the mangroves, right? So now my strategy here is to put a live shrimp down there on as little weight and as little tackle as possible. Got some pre-tied rigs here. This is our waterproof bait box. I keep all of my pre-tied rigs in here. All this stuff I've got on my website. So I'm gonna put a live shrimp on, go right through the head. And you can see how the hook is such perfect size for the shrimp. You don't want the hook to show too much. So just like this. Now I hear that the canal mangroves are really smart. So you really have to have really light line, live bait, and you have to be quiet. <laughs> My first fish. And it's a small mangrove. Not quite big enough to keep, but they're there. They kind of remind me of white perch. Yeah, they do. Back up north. Yeah, but I think mangroves get way bigger than white perch. Another little shrimp. No weight. And this shrimp is just swimming straight down. Nice. Another mangrove snapper, still a little bit small. But like I said, right by the mangroves, as soon as I cast it right by there. Another mangrove. Right in the mangroves, I think. 
that. Like as close as you can get it. Oh, you see that? You see that? Chase it. Another mangrove. It's as soon as I throw it out there. I think I found a hole. What's interesting about these fish is they got little vampire teeth. And you can tell they're they're used to eating fish, shrimp, stuff like that, just chewing them up. Yeah. Come on, something. Oh, it's a jack. There's a jack cool. here. Jack Gravel. Look at that. How fun. A baby jack. Looks like it uh, swallowed my line. So I'm gonna just let it go. I don't wanna eat this, so I'll let it go. Bye. -bye. I see the shrimp jumping around. Front. Look at that. Now these are really interesting looking fish. First of all, look at that blue pattern on its face. Wow. And you hear that grunt? That's why it's called a grunt. But look at this. Oh the mouth gosh. is enormous. Right on. Just ready to eat anything. Beautiful fish, huh? Definitely. Okay, let's let this guy go. We're going for a very specific fish. I want to eat mangrove snap. Maybe a little bit bigger of a shrimp will catch me a little bit bigger of a fish. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Another mangrove. Beautiful fish. A little bit too small. It needs to be 10 inches, and I think this is about nine, eight and a half. It's really not good to keep fish that are too small because, first of all, you gotta let them go because you wanna let them grow. Second of all, there's a reason why there's a regulation size. If it's too small, you have to let it go because these are the ones that are gonna grow up, reproduce, and make more. If you keep taking these small ones, the, the population of the fish it's just gonna be diminished. And these big ones, they don't get so big because they're dumb. They're really actually pretty smart fish. So catching a big one is quite a challenge. You end up catching a lot of small ones because they're just not that smart. Oh, I saw that one eat it too. I think what I need to do is get it a little bit lower down because these, these fish, the bigger ones are down further. That's a nicer one. No, it's not. It's about the same size. It looks nice. Just a small little one. But it's non-stop action. This is where I was looking. This is where I found all the fish. I saw some really big ones in there. I want to see if I can just catch at least one of those big ones. Were they mostly small? There were some big ones in there, but they were mostly smaller sized ones. If you're having trouble hooking fish, just know it's not necessarily you. They're just really hard to hook. They're smarter than you think. Yeah, that's, that's a, keeper. a keeper. That's a keeper for sure. Yeah, this one was chasing that shrimp around. I saw it under there chasing it for like a minute or so. Look at that. It's a big fat mangrove. 
That's a keeper. And let me tell you, one of these pan fried, delicious. One per person, that's all you need. Well, one thing that I've noticed about live shrimp is that they can swim around so freely on this rig that they don't exactly want to hang out by fish that are going to eat them. You know They'll what I mean? They'll swim away and try to run away. Right, they're just going to swim away, they're going to try to run away. So it's important that you cast it really deep in there, which Brennan is really good at. And he makes it look easy. Bot, are you ready? Yeah! I think we gotta measure this one, see if it's 10 inches or not, but I think it's right on the dot. One for you, one for me so far. Yes. It's just so simple. You just use this one pre-tied rig, you just tie it on, get some live shrimp, and you just get right onto some fish. And this is our brand new pre-tied rig. It's called the Mini Sure Catch. And if you want to catch some fish, I suggest just get one of these. Uh, a, a 10 pack of these, or just a single pack, because it comes with three in each rig, in each package. You just cast it and wait. See the other fish swimming around it? Yep. Oh, wow, another little jack? Yeah. Another Amazing. little jack. Look at that. Oh. that. This is so fun. So you're getting a lot of bait stealers, huh? A lot of bait stealers. Well, yeah, I couldn't find any in the middle, and when I tried to fish the middle, I got nothing. And as soon as I looked inside the mangroves, I saw a lot of fish. As soon as I cast it in there, I started catching a lot of fish right away. So this little drone is actually really helpful. Yeah, did you see this? That's really cool. Oh. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it oh, took it in half. Do you think it'll eat that? Try putting that back down. So okay. It it's just the head, though. I know, but you never know. Okay, I'll try it. You never know. My guess is no. Okay. Who knows? Who knows? It might just take a piece of cut bait. Even if it's small. There's oh, a huge shark up there. I definitely think they moved because I haven't gotten a bite in a while. So we can either check over there, we can check over there. But I, I do know that when I was looking with the drone, they were not just in one place, they were moving. They were actively moving back and forth, back and forth. So if they're not here, I think I'm gonna check over there. There's a huge shark that keeps moving through here and they run away from it because they don't want to be eaten by a shark. Maybe it is. Some people do. Mangrove. Whoa. Whoa! Holy cow! That's a huge one! That's a huge snapper! Right away! <laughs> On the Sure Catch Mini Rig! Wow, let me see. Oh my wow. gosh, that is a keeper. 15 and a half inches. Wow, congrats, Brendan. Holy cow, look at that. Let's see that. Now that is a snapper, isn't it? Certainly. That is a real snapper. It bit it right away. As soon as I threw that in there, 
I was I was worried that was a tarpon. I was gonna lose it. I thought that was a tarpon. I thought it was a tarpon at first too. Because we saw it. Well, the tarpon are probably looking for mangroves like that. Yeah. Yeah. If I put a mar mangrove out, the tarpon will eat a mangrove. Really? Yeah. Got a bite. Got a bite. Holy shit! It's a tarpon. It's a tarpon. Whoa! I got a tarpon, y'all! Eh. I got a tarpon. You did. Tarpon! Nice! That is awesome. And it bit on a shrimp. It bit on a shrimp. Love it. Tastes good. I'm gonna have to kiss those lips later, so I guess it better. <laughs> Give it a second one. Sure. Another one? No, no, that's okay. I, I'm kissing it right on the lips. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of kisses. Wow, that is a beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing, amazing fish. Okay, I gotta let this go before it gets hurt. That was freaking nuts, y'all. I saw a bunch of mangroves going after it. Then all of a sudden, a big tarpon came and swiped at it. I set the hook as soon as I saw it eat it and then we landed it. Yes, tarpon, mangroves, huge mangrove snapper, all sorts of fish on the sure catch rig. This is the mini sure catch rig. It catches every single kind of fish. Amazing rig. All right, let's let this tarpon go. Bye-bye. If you want to catch a bunch of fish, visit our website, hayskipperfishing.com. We've got a limited quantity of these mini sure catch rigs that we've tied up. This will catch you everything. All right, guys, well, we're out of shrimp. I caught a tarpon. I caught some really huge mangrove snapper. It was a really awesome time just checking out the mangroves with the, with the underwater drone. I've never used such awesome technology before. I, it allowed me to look and search to see where the fish are. And once I saw where they are, I kept fishing near the same places I saw them hiding. This technology really helped me find a bunch of fish. I want to give a special shout out to Power Vision because this drone is actually super awesome. If you haven't seen it before, check it out on Amazon. They have got a lot of these drones for sale and um, it could help you catch a bunch of fish yourself. These mini sure catch rigs, I tied them up. These really work very well, very, very well. Especially when you're using little live shrimps or just little live baits in general. That's what the mini sure catch is for. I love using shrimp, mud minnows, little bait fish. This is exactly what I use it for. If you wanna catch your own fish, get a 10 pack of these sure catch rigs. These mini sure catch rigs work really well, but the regular sure catch rigs, they have bigger hooks, they catch bigger fish, but you have to use bigger bait. If you're using smaller bait, use the mini sure catch. And we've got them all on our website, limited quantity. If you guys want it, hurry up and get some because the fishing is good. I wanna thank everyone for watching. If you're already subscribed, I wanna thank you for subscribing. But if you're not subscribed, we post a video every single Thursday and I wanna invite you to join our group because we do a lot of fishing and I'd like to teach exactly how I catch fish. And if you're a beginner fisherman, I'm gonna show you exactly how to catch fish every single episode. If you want more information, I post a lot of blogs and I post just a lot of information on my website, hayskipperfishing.com about how to catch fish, where to catch them, what tides to fish, what baits, what rigs. I've got a bunch of eBooks to teach you how to tie the rigs. And also, if you want to know about more giveaways and more products that I release, subscribe to our text messages. If you text this number, I will text you personally every time I come out with a new giveaway, anytime I come out with new products and any updates that I have, just text squad to this number below. All right, guys, I'm going back home. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next week.